My name is Lacey and welcome back to Late Night Coloring Mama. Tonight I thought I would do another color in chat with you guys. Um, it's going to be out of a book that I shared in my December haul um, and it will be probably a smaller color in chat. I am hoping to finish the page tonight. Uh, the book that I'm going to be doing the color in chat in is this giraffe black background easy large print mosaic color by number by color questopia i love giraffes the pictures like the print is pretty big but the picture's small so i think i should be able to finish it i will be using mostly my ohuhu dual tip coloring markers and then one sharpie uh, this book was purchased on Amazon as well as the markers. I will link them down below. And they give you little tips in this book. This is the picture I'm going to be coloring. It's a pretty simple picture, just something kind of fun, relaxing, nothing too big. Um, there's the color key on the back. I just chose some pictures that I thought would, I mean, excuse me, not pictures, some colors that I thought would be close enough. So, yes, let's get started. I will start with number one, which is black. And I do have my paper in the back. And I am using the old hoo-hoo. Um, this is number 72 black, and I think I'm going to try, maybe I'll use a little bit of the fine and the brush when I color. I'm not too sure. I'm just going to go with the flow. Um, looks like there's only one number one that I'm seeing, and it's for the eyes. So, yeah, I'll start there. We'll see how it looks. I have not really used the fine tip too much with these markers. I have tried them a little bit, and I thought they felt a little rough but I wanted to color with them tonight a little bit. Oh, I really like this black. <laughs> so how is everyone doing tonight? Hope you're all doing well. I am doing better. I am feeling pretty well. Wow. Okay, so that's it for number one. And then it looks like they might have one, two. So that's two and it's a dark brown. So again, I'm using an Ohuhu marker, the dual tip. And this one is number 81, Bitter Chocolate. So this morning, I got to actually color. My daughter asked me pretty much right away this morning after she had her breakfast. She's like, Mom, I want to color. Will you color with me? I said, yes. Well, she just wanted to draw. So she kind of drew, got her some paper, and she drew, and I colored for a little while. So that was kind of nice to do a little bit of coloring this morning. So that's number two. Next is number three, and it looks like this is probably the only number three. Okay, and let me get that, which is medium red. And I'm using the Ohuhu dual tip marker, number 16. I'm going to use vivid red. So we'll see what that looks like. Oh, so snap on the back. There we go. So yes, I, that we got to color for a while. Um, I did my normal cleaning, you know, the dishes, the sweeping. Then I dusted my living room today because I felt like it needed to be dusted. Okay. 
dusted my ceiling fan in the living room because that is always going pretty much. Okay, that's number three. So number four is orange, and it looks like we got a few of that here. So let me get that marker. Okay, and I'm just using the hoo-hoo again. And number seven, orange. Um... So yeah, we I did that today, got some cleaning done, did some laundry. You know, I try to do a load like every day because I don't want to get it behind. I've had days where laundry has gotten behind and I just don't like it. And I like being in a clean house. And my house is not always clean, trust me. When you have kids... You know, you gotta let them play. And sometimes, you know, I get busy doing one thing and forget what I'm doing and do another. <laughs> Where have you been? And then tonight, um, well, last night I made in the crock pot some meatballs with like homemade spaghetti sauce. I made way too many meatballs. And I just um, boiled the noodles in a separate pan. But we had so many left and so much sauce left that my husband's like, well, I'll just go to the store and get us some, like, I like, not, are they hoagies I'm thinking of? Maybe buns? The long ones? I think that's what I'm thinking of. Maybe. And we'll just have meatball subs with, like, Parmesan. And I was like, oh, we haven't had meatball subs in a long time. So, that's what he did. And we had meatball subs for supper. Yeah, we try to eat pretty much everything that we cook. Very little waste, if any. Sometimes, you know, like, produce gets bad. And we always try to use that stuff up right away, but... Sometimes you can't help it. And I made, I've been making smoothie popsicles homemade. You know, you get your smoothie stuff all made up and just pour it in your little popsicle molds. Kids love them. So I said, I think I'm going to do that because sometimes we'll make homemade popsicles. But when I have extra fruit and, you know, before... It, you know, I don't want it to go bad. We make smoothies. So I'm just going to make the smoothie popsicles or smoothie bars or fruit bars, whatever you want to call them. For the kids. And we've even made Gatorade ones. This would be good when you're sick and not feeling good. And then, after I got dishwasher loaded, started that, and then did some other dishes, you know, in the sink that don't go in the dishwasher. After I did that and cleaned up and wiped the table and everything, um, I brought up from our basement a 300-piece puzzle that we haven't opened. And it's like donuts and coffee, like bright colors of donuts all over. So me, my son, and my daughter, we started that while my husband was working on freeze dryer stuff. So we got to start that puzzle and hopefully we can finish it this winter. I got like one of those, I don't even know how to describe it, like a puzzle board, but it's soft. Yeah, we got one of those for our puzzles to do on and set it on. Got that a few years ago, I think. But yeah, my puzzle I purchased on Amazon as well. But um, there's a puzzle warehouse now that I see. 
it's been for a while where I get emails from and I signed up for that so I could view the puzzles um, I might have to order some puzzles off there because they have a lot of choices and I think they're fairly priced we'll see because we got a few puzzles here I've gotten puzzles off book outlet before too So if we finish these puzzles that we have, maybe get some more. My dad used to like puzzling, used to frame his and hang them up. The few that he's done, some he would just keep, you know, put together, glued together and store them. I've gotten him a few puzzles before for like his birthday or Christmas or Father's Day. Yeah, puzzles, they can be fun. Do you guys like doing puzzles? I also like doing word searches. And there's this one game. Well, it's an app, not really a game. I, think, I don't remember what it's called, but I just recently got it on my phone. Where they, like, tell a story and you gotta... I forget what kind of puzzles they're called, where you have to figure out cross off a bunch of stuff and figure out the answer. I love those too. Problem solving or word searches, yes. I used to really like Sudoku, Sudoku. Um, but I'm kind of rusty at that. I used to be really good at it and I tried it a while back and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm terrible at this now. But yes, I used to really, really like that. Do any of you like word searches or crosswords? I like celebrity crossword puzzles, but I'm not that good at crosswords. I mean, I have a few crossword books. My son's learning how to do word searches in school, which excites me. I don't think he likes them that much, but I love them. <laughs> Okay, that's it for the fours. And so we'll go to five, which is brown. And I am going to use, I'm just winging the colors, so we'll see how this looks. It might not even, but that's okay. Coloring is meant to be fun, and it can be different. Okay, I'm using burnt probably saying this wrong. Ochre? Ochre? Correct me if you know what the word, what it is. 53 burnt ochre? Ochre? The ohuhu marker? Okay, number four. Excuse me, number five. That's what I'm using for brown. Oh, it just looks like it's right here, so that ain't too, too much. That looks like a brown to me. So yeah, tomorrow my son doesn't have school. Um, some teacher day for... They're getting ready for like a, a raffle thing that they do at the school. So I get that off to do that. So tomorrow I'm thinking we might work more on the puzzle. And maybe play like a board game or something. My daughter really wants to play a game too. Now she helped last weekend do a hundred piece puzzle and enjoyed it. She wanted to do this donut puzzle so bad. And I'm like, it's really, you know, it's bigger. It's 300 pieces. And she's not even in preschool. And after a little bit, she was over it. <laughs> then she just went to play. She was getting kind of crabby because she was getting tired, which 
Well, sometimes we all, well, I get crabby when I'm tired. All of us here do anyway. I know when I start getting crabby, I need to get some sleep. <laughs> That's usually when I get crabby is when I'm tired. Not always, but sometimes. So I've been watching a couple different shows. Well, kind of watching as I clean. I have it in the background. My daughter's usually playing when I'm cleaning. Sometimes she'll help. I'll ask her if she wants to help do little things. She likes to feel included sometimes. Other times she's not interested. But she was playing and I was watching a show called The Summer I Turned Pretty on Amazon. It's more like of a young adult show, I think. It's okay. And I watched something on Tubi TV called Bad Girls Club. It's like an older show, I guess. Reality show. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's all I will say about that. <laughs> okay, so I got some up here, it looks like, too. The other day I got to watch a movie while I was cleaning. I kind of just play that stuff in the background. Um, it's, a sh it's a movie, you know, I used to watch when it first came out. It's older. Mean Girls. I know they're making a new one, but I don't know if I'll see that one. But some of it's kind of cheesy, funny. But I still like it stuff I watched when I was younger. I just like watching movies in general, so I used to watch movies all the time. Not so much anymore, occasionally now, but usually it's the kids' movies we watch, which is fine because I love those too. Okay. Oh, I got kind of a lot of lines there. I wonder if I can kind of, probably making it worse, but fix it a little bit. Oh well. Okay, and then um, number six, medium brown. Where is number six? Maybe there's not one, because I don't even see it. Unless I color, colored over. Nope, right here. Sorry, I probably bumped the camera too. Okay, so I'm using the Ohuhu 49 Pecan. Just right here. Yeah, we are in a dense fog advisory till tomorrow. It was foggy all day today. Outside, I could see. I could still see across the lake, but it was foggy. There's been times where we've had fog where you can't see across it. It was supposed to rain last night, but it never did. And then they said tonight, but I guess I didn't pay attention. Usually I can hear it if it rains, but if it was light, I wouldn't have been able to hear it. We got to like 35 degrees today. That was pretty nice. And then I heard we might get snow late tonight. I don't know, probably not much, but... 
I want to see it. We haven't had anything really for snow this year. Usually we get pounded with it, but that's okay too. I love snow, but. Yeah, in our yard you can see some of our grass actually too. Right by our greenhouse. I don't know if I've mentioned that to you guys, that we have a greenhouse. I might have a long time ago. Um, my husband used to do hydroponics and grow um, lettuce and tomato and we've done bok choy before and peppers. Now we have these garden in our yard and I think we're gonna go in the greenhouse and clean that out a bit and make another garden in there for stuff that doesn't need a whole lot of light. So yeah, we'll have a pretty big garden this year. Hopefully. Okay. Seven is going to be light brown. Oh, hoo hoo. And this is 54 potato brown. Do any of you guys garden or do you have a garden? We want to, um, when we do our garden this year with a lot of the stuff, we want to make a bunch of soups to freeze. We have one of those, um, well, ours is like commercial size. Um, not the big, big commercial size, probably a smaller one. Um, where you can freeze your stuff, freezer, seal, I can't even think right now. But I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. So yeah, you put it in the bags and then it seals it up. Yeah, we want to make a bunch of soups, so we usually do that. If we get too much, but this year we didn't make a whole lot of soup. I mean, last year we didn't make a whole lot of soup because we had stuff frozen and we've been eating that this year, so... So we're pretty low, so with the garden stuff, if we have too much, we'll make some bunch of soups and freeze it. It's always nice to have that for the fall and the winter, too. So usually when our garden's done, we're into fall. We have a lady that walks by the lake a lot and you can like kind of walk down down the hill below the hill by my house you can walk down there and she always used to see my husband in the garden she seen me one time and she came over and asked if she could have some stuff since we had so much and she could see it we told her yeah you can have you know like we got a ton of tomatoes and a ton of peppers And she said she'd be back, and she came back, and she brought us over a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm like, you didn't have to do that. You could just take some of the vegetables. That's fine with us. But, yeah, she made um, made some food and brought it over for us, which was really nice. We got pretty good neighbors, so all around our block. I mean, we have neighbors down the road for the 4th of July that said they were going to let off fireworks and if they knocked on our door actually and told us and they said if it was too much noise to let them know when they would stop, so, which that didn't bother us. You guys have nice neighbors. I 
If you have a garden, what do you grow in your garden? I don't know if I'm a fan of this. This is all getting too streaky. Any tips or tricks? Maybe I'll have to go over it again. I don't know. So this book was actually um, part of my December coloring haul, which I think I already mentioned to you guys. And there are ones in there that I want to color in, hopefully soon, that are not color by numbers. So... I think this paper though is really thin too. So I don't know if these are the right type of markers to be using in this book. But you know, we can't learn unless we try and so I keep telling myself that not all my pictures are gonna look the way I want them to look, so. I don't know, it has like stuff all over it. So maybe these aren't the best markers to use on this picture. Started out okay, but then now it's like, ugh, I don't know about this. I have to stick to color pencils in this book. Because I don't know how my other markers would react in here either. I it might tear or something. What do you guys use when you color in color questopia books? Yeah, it's like so many lines and streakies. Could be how I'm coloring too, so. Try this maybe this better.
I don't think that part looks that bad. Maybe I need to go over it again. Usually when I um, color, I have like a heavy hand. I press so hard sometimes. I was coloring the other night up on my dining room table. My husband was watching TV. You could just hear me breaking tips. I'm like, oh my goodness, why am I doing this? I don't know. Now oh, it doesn't look so bad, so maybe I have to go over it. Yeah, eh. I'm not afraid to show you guys either if I mess up on something, because I am human. We all make mistakes, but I don't know. I don't know what it is about this, why it's so difficult for me to color this. It's like getting stuff all over the papers, like peeling. I mean, I still like the book and everything. I just think I have to choose a, something else to color in it with. Or maybe be lighter on the on the hands. Try to. I'll try to not press. This is my first set of all hoo hoo, so I could be coloring, you know. I know I'm making the streaks. Is there a certain special way you need to color with these, or? not my favorite picture at all <laughs> that's okay actually let me try the brush tip with this once and see what we do with that because I still got some sevens to go over so let's try to maybe we can kind of I don't know why I'm trying so much because it's the way it is already. I almost think the brush tip might be making it worse I think but but I'm gonna finish it anyway even if it's not good I'll learn.
but I still like to chat with you guys, so. It's still fun. I used to get really upset when I'd mess up a picture. It's still, you know, frustrating when you mess up a picture. But I've learned to let it go and just, oh well, you know. It is what it is. But for real, I want to know what you guys use to color in these books because the paper is thin and I want to color in it more and I will color in it more, but I want to know what you guys use. What is the best supply to use in the Color Questopia books? Or maybe it's just these markers or it's me. It could be all. Still a cute little giraffe. Okay, that's sevens. Let's go to eights. Eight is dark yellow. Ooh. And I chose deep yellow in Ohuhu. So that's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to use the brush tip. Number eight. Here we go. So have you guys seen any new movies recently? Um, I think tomorrow night we are gonna see wish it's a disney movie have you guys heard of that it looks super cute and my son has been begging to see that movie my daughter's excited too I love Disney movies. I could watch them for hours. I've been wanting to watch The Sound of Music again because that's one of my favorites. But I don't know. My son has seen it in school, but I think my daughter's a little too young. She'd get bored. And I like the original and the live version. Have you guys seen the live version with Carrie Underwood? So yeah, watch Wish tomorrow. I'll probably make some popcorn. Or have popcorn.
those. Okay, number nine. Number nine is medium orange. And this is a Sharpie permanent marker and it's ultra fine point. So this will probably leave marks too. Um, I do want to learn how to color better with the brush marker. I mean, it's getting easier. I don't feel like I'm as sloppy. I just need to learn not to leave how to color without the streaks. I mean, some, I know you can't help it. Some will leave streaks, but there's a way, I think, that you won't always have to see these streaks in pictures. And I will take any pointers on the streaking. So I can practice and practice because you know it's fun to learn new things and I always want to try stuff. A lot of times I'm chicken, not kidding, I'm scared to try stuff but slowly starting to push myself out there. Like I didn't even want to use a light board at first and I was like you know this helps with my eyes. sometimes some of those um, some of these color by numbers the numbers are so tiny that plays tricks on my eyes and I do wear glasses still plays tricks any of you guys have that issue the light board does really help for me anyway now that doesn't look too bad for that sharpie Maybe I should have colored all in Sharpie. Soon I'm going to attempt to color skin, and I'll probably do that with colored pencils. I don't feel confident enough with markers, especially with streaking. So yes, I want to learn better with the brush tip, um, basically any type of alcohol marker, and chisel. I mean, I rarely use chisel on some of my markers. Because I feel like when I do that, it's kind of sloppy. And I usually use it for the bigger, but I still feel like it can get sloppy. So I'm reading um, a couple books. I always tell you guys I'm reading a few books. I'm reading Jodi Picoult, um, Harvesting the Heart. I read another book from Jodi, um, I think it's called Song Songs of the Humpback Whale. That was I enjoyed that book and now this one's really good too. I think I'm just going to keep reading some of Jody's books. And then I started one, but I heard there's a lot of triggers in the book, which I can handle a lot of things. Um, Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. But I don't think I'm going to finish it before it's due from the library, so I'll have to probably put it on a hold again, which is okay. All right, that was medium orange, number nine. Got 10, light blue. Now I'm gonna use 26 pastel blue in Ohuhu. And 
Does anyone have this book or do you have any Color Questopia books? I think this is my first one by them. Maybe second at most, but I don't have any more. Probably will get some more coloring books from them once I figure out what I need to... Because I love the pictures. I just need to figure out the coloring thing in here. Oh, so if you watched my part two video that I showed a few videos back of me coloring the ice cream cone, the cherry, I was having issues with my light board. Like, I was just having a day. So after the video, I was talking to my husband that night because he was still up. And he's like, well, bring it to me. I'm like, I don't know. I just kept tapping it. And I'm like, what is going on? Plugged it in and everything. It came on and off. He's like, um, I'm pretty sure that you didn't have it plugged in all the way. <laughs> so yes, I've been having like a week. Things going off and it just like, one of those weeks, but that's okay. It will get better. So I'm excited my son gets to be home. I am one of those parents that who gets excited if my kids are home from school or if they don't have to go to school or if it's a snow day, I get excited that they get to stay home and I don't know. Is anybody else like that? I love my kids are home with me. Even though sometimes, you know, it's a little stir crazy here. <laughs> I still love when they're home with me all the time. See how this looks when we're finished. We're getting there. I was talking so much and going over. This video might be a little bit longer. We're already at 48 minutes. like a little yellowing Are these markers yellow anybody have issues with that it's like a spot of yellow on here or is it the paper I haven't used these markers too too much so we'll see keep going I have some Statler markers I got years ago at Barnes and Noble, and they're not my favorite, but I still use them. I'll use everything, even if, you know, there's an issue or whatever, I'll still use them. 
I'll find some use for them. I'm that way with a lot of things. Are you guys that way too, or do you just pitch stuff? Or maybe I'll have to try my Dabo and Shobo markers in here to see how it how they work in here. So as I was saying, does anyone else have this book? Or Color Questopia go books? Um, like I said, I'll probably still purchase some from Color Questopia because I do like their pictures. Um, I really love Jade Summer, so that is something I'll be purchasing more of. Um, oh, Creative Haven for sure. I love Creative Haven. Um, Coco Wayo. Just started into Coco Wayo, and I'm like, yep, I'm sold. I love the pictures, and I have two books, I believe, from Coco Wayo so far. Slowly building my collection, but I do go through a lot of books when I'm deciding, you know, what I want to get to color in. And there's so many. I wish I could have them all because I love looking at books. I could look at books for hours when I've watched coloring collections or finished pages. I could just stare at that for hours. Something so calming in that for me. Same with books, like actual books that you read. Yeah, I could just stare at them for hours too. Okay. And of course, Sun Life Drawing, because you guys know I love Sun Life Drawing. And I love Disney books, but I feel like they're kind of spendy. I only have a couple. And I've only showed you guys one that I've colored in in November, I believe. I showed you the picture out of it. Those pictures take me a while to color. That was a regular picture. Yeah, I think I only have I'm thinking in my head. I think I only have six Disney books, I think. I'm still eyeing those pan pastels. I can't decide what colors I want. And I don't want to get them all because, you know, I'm just going to learn how to do it. I want to get a few of them, but not all of them. Really can't decide. I wonder if you can color a whole picture with those. Has anybody tried that? 
with pan pastels colored a whole picture I mean I want to get it for backgrounds but if you had enough of them I wonder if you could do like a whole picture there certain colors that you guys like for pan pastels that you always go for or... Maybe when I do do the skin tones in my regular book, I'll do like a color with me so I can speed it up a little for you guys. Because those regular pictures, I want to do some with you guys, but they'll probably be smaller pictures because I color super slow. Like they take me a long time, more than a day. Okay, we're on the last color, which is sky blue. This is Ohu 27 Process Blue. Guys got any plans for this week or tomorrow? I'm gonna make the kids pancakes for breakfast. They love pancakes. Gonna whip up some pancakes and then gonna get groceries. We get groceries every two weeks. Um, sometimes we have to run to like our quick trip or gas station to get more a gallon of milk because sometimes I get two gallons for two weeks. Sometimes I um, need to get an extra. My kids are big water and Gatorade drinkers and milk drinkers. Yeah, probably get some groceries, um, you know, like the main stuff, fruits, fresh fruits, fresh, bleh, can't talk, fresh veggies, milk, butter, bread, and then I want to get like Valentine's cookies or Valentine's donuts or something fun for the kids. I try to, try to do that for each holiday, get something kind of fun they can do at home. Maybe some little sweetheart candies. Oh my god, I loved those as a kid. I remember every Valentine's Day, my mom would give me just a little box of them. And I was so excited. Still be excited as an adult if I got them. But I love them. My kids like them too. Oh, and I used to like cinnamon and bears. They come out, I wonder if they still do that around Valentine's Day. I haven't had those in a long time. Do you guys do anything fun for Valentine's Day? Me and my husband, we don't usually, we used to get each other gifts all the time. And then the past few years we were like, well. 
I don't really do that too much. Now. Because we show our love every day. So. I don't know. I like to do it more for the kids. And there's nothing really that I need for Valentine's Day. But this year I did see something I want to get my husband, so maybe I will this year. We'll see. We will see. For sure the kids will get something, though, from us. Last year we got them a stuffed animal, each a medium-sized one. And, um, I don't, I think we got them some candy, too. So we like to do, I like to do fun stuff for the kids around the holidays. Last year for St. Patrick's Day, I was like, oh, let's make mint. You know, I bought a bunch of mint, like chocolate chip. I bought some ice cream and like had some chocolate syrup to go over it and whipped topping and green sprinkles and My daughter liked it, but my son was not a fan. I don't think he really likes anything minty, so he wasn't a big fan of it, but. And he won't tell me. He'll just say, Mom, I'm not really hungry. I'll be like, okay. <laughs> you know, we don't usually, usually he'll, he'll eat like ice cream, any ice cream. And then I would bought some like, I had like a peppermint. No, they were like a mint, some type of mint cookies. They were like fudge stripe cookies with the green and chocolate. He didn't like those either, but my daughter did. She she likes all sweets, so. So this year, I'm like, well, I was thinking about St. Patrick's Day, too. I'm like, I don't think I'm going to be making the mint ice cream. Do you guys eat corned beef and cabbage? We usually buy that sometimes after St. Patrick's Day when it goes away on sale. And then we make it. I think we've had it on St. Patrick's Day before, but that can be expensive too. So I think next week, me and my daughter are going to put up some decorations for Valentine's Day. Have a wreath and some little hanging signs and some little tabletop decorations. And she loves to decorate, so that's what we'll be doing next week. And look, we're almost done already. All right, and that's that. Well, it turned out okay, I think. Besides the streaky lines, that's okay. That happens. It was still fun. I enjoyed talking to you guys, and I do kind of actually like the picture. So 
now that I finished it, I think I actually do kind of like it. So, all right, the book was Giraffe, Black Background, Easy Large Print, Mosaic Color by Number by Color Questopia. Got that on Amazon as well as the markers. I will link them down below. If you like this video and like to chat, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and like hanging out and talking, please consider subscribing. Thank you all so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope you all have a nice night and happy coloring. Bye.